Hi, it's me, Vicky Marie, and um, I'm just going to do an update about Madeleine Kingsbury. Unfortunately, still not much of an update. Um, she's still missing. Madeleine is still missing. Later on in this video, you'll see details. She disappeared uh, on the 31st of March. I'm just trying to find this lovely. Just hold me tight and tell me you're This is Madeline singing to a baby. While I'm alone and blue as can be. Yeah, very short. This is a, a video that her brother, uh, well, her family, her brother, used to. Gosh, do you know what? Is it just me? You just jump around to do one thing and it always tries to get you to do another. Here you go. Just nice to listen to, to look at, so that we get an idea. It's me. Just hold me tight and tell me you'll miss me. While I'm alone and blue as can be. Yeah. So, yes, it's um, it's a beautiful little video. It shows that her as thing is we hear all these names, people going missing or things happening. When we see them as people like that, there she's singing to a baby. Um, you know, it makes it real to us and it invests us more in these people and we want Madeline to be found. So she has been missing for 42 days. The only update there's been really, they, there was a vigil held for the family, held a vigil for uh, uh, the police are currently searching creeks and there's like organised searches going on of the Mississippi River. Uh, nothing at all has been found so far. No suspect has been announced, but there is, um, you know, aspersions cast obviously on her partner, which is normally what happens. Uh, and it was a strange situation. They were living together, but they were actually separated. And she was, in fact, just about to move out. Um, when this happened, they took the children to daycare that morning. They came back. He said he went off in her van to run some errands. And uh, when he came back, she disappeared from the house, even though all the things were in the house. Uh, so there you go. That's all we know, really, unfortunately. I'm sure the police know a little bit more. Maybe there's evidence that they've got that they're keeping to themselves until they have enough evidence. They've said that they're not willing to name a suspect at the moment. So they obviously haven't got enough evidence at the moment to declare her partner, Adam Father, as a subject, as a suspect. So he's quite vocal on Facebook, etc. You know, he's, he's making quite a few comments on there, uh, but he won't give any interviews. He said that the police told him not to give any interviews, but the police say, no, they didn't tell him not to give any interviews. He's probably wise not to give any interviews because they will be obviously concentrated on and, you know, pulled to pieces. And so, you know, guilty or innocent is probably not a good idea to give it interviews but normally you know partners um, make appeals don't they for the return of their loved ones if there is no foul play so i don't know anyway they have two children uh adam initially tried to take charge of the children um but this was he wasn't allowed to do that the children were taken away from him and they are in this in a safe place we don't know whether they're with family whether they're in care whether they're you know we don't know where that's the whole idea of them being in a safe place nobody knows where they are so well somebody will know but um there's there was a general concern <clears throat> you know to take them away from adam and not leave the children with him 
so that's it it's not much of an update but the the thing is i want every well hopefully madeline will be found uh, before too long one way or another but um until she is every week or so or every any time there's any little bit of an update and this was literally an update every morning i look to see if there are any updates and rarely there are but there was a little update this morning just saying about the that they were exploring creek areas and you know so they're still searching they still must feel that they're going to find madeline you know and this is a massive area that they're searching uh, i presume they've got some details of where um adam's van went that day or I don't know, you know, we just don't know. So they're searching, they're still searching. So they're obviously hoping that something will be found somewhere, some way or another. Uh, this is a case that's very similar to the Nicola Bully case. You know, the whole country is invested in this case, um, wanting justice for Madeline and her family, you know, for her to be brought back to her family one way or another. That's the important thing. I mean, hopes do fade, don't they, after a while, because she hasn't got anything with her. So where has she just disappeared to if she is still on this planet, on this earth? Um, the longer time goes on, the less likely it seems. But you know what? You never know, because sometimes miracles happen. So every day I'm praying that they find Madeline. I hope you will join me in that. Now, uh, and, and if you don't mind sharing this video, because whether wh wherever you are, you may think, oh, you know, I'm far away from uh, America, you know, where all this is going on. Um, but you never know. You never know who just might pick up on the video and see it and remember something that they saw that day. Um, I know it feels like you know, it feels like uh, it's a long shot, but it's a shot you know we just have to keep hoping that somewhere along the line somebody knows something somebody will say something the police will find something or the public you know often it's the public isn't it that finds something um it's watch this space if i hear anything i will be back to update you so thanks for watching thanks for caring about madeline okay and uh, remember to always live and love very carefully I'll see you very soon in the next video. And until then, may your God go with you. Thank you. Bye.